Hi, good morning Reds, how you doing? Adam McCola here for Full Time Devils. Transfer daily, bright and early in the morning yet again. I know I told you me and Stephen House and I'm taking these in turns. I don't think he's woke up, not been answering my calls all morning. So I've had to step in and save his bacon. Anyway, episode two, here we go. Otamendi, Nico Otamendi, a name that's bound to be lingering along this summer. It will probably pop up again in Transfer Daily tomorrow, next week, and the week after as well. Let's hope it doesn't become a saga. But apparently, he wants to join Manchester United. Um, reading up on Sports Witness today, they've got a few quotes um, from different articles and stuff. And Valencia are thinking of stopping using him in any of their promotional material for new kits, tours, etc. And he's told teammates that he wants to join Manchester United. <laughs> it always comes that oh, a newspaper will quote, he's told his teammates. Which teammate? How do you know? Um, but Nico Atamendi looks like a player. I think this is a move that might happen. Um, I'm not sure if Matt Summers and Atamendi will both happen. But I do think there's a possibility of this one happening. Especially with the murmurs that Matt Summers is staying at Borussia Dortmund. Anyway, moving on and to a name that hasn't popped up much before. At least I haven't heard it anyway. Carlos Baca, Sevilla striker. Um, I've seen him play a few times. He looks a handful. Um, but I, uh, granted, I don't know much about him. Um, Sevilla were obviously in the UEFA Cup final. Um, this story, though, comes from the Metro. Um, and it's not a real story. Um, comment below. Is he any good? What do you think about Carlos Baca? Could he do it for Manchester United? How much would you pay for him? Get your comments in below. Um, Kayla Navas is another name that's been in the press as well. No, he's not on his way to Manchester United. He's the Real Madrid goalkeeper. And apparently he's been quoted as saying um, he's, he's ready to fight for his spot at Real Madrid and so on and so forth. I hope you are too, mate. With Ica Casillas next season. Because hopefully you won't be fighting with Dave. Um, but he doesn't... Even mentioned Big Dave, but the expressive gun, Kalis Navas, will fight with United's David De Gea for Real Madrid spot. He didn't mention Dave's name. Um, and it's understandable he's going to say that he's going to fight for his spot, isn't he? Um, Nico Gaetan, I see I got Gaetan, Gaetan, how, how do you say his name? I've seen a few people suggest I was wrong yesterday. Um, anyway, I don't care. And this is why I tell you I don't care about his name. Because the Daily Mail are saying he's £21 million signing. But Liverpool, he's on his way to Liverpool. I didn't want him yesterday. I said it yesterday on Transfer Daily. I don't want him. And he's on his way to Liverpool. See you later, mate. Anyway, I bet... <laughs> talking about that, I bet you anybody he stays where he is and he's a Benfica man next season. Anyone want to bet me a tenner on that? <sighs> anyway, other news. Bill is still banging on about Angar Di Maria. Peter Schmeichel... Had a picture next to Bastian Schweinsteiger's shirt. That means he's coming, don't he? I'd love that German in our midfield. See, man, buying a German mid. Come on, lads, get him in. Madrid have denied they have approached Juventus or Pogba's agent. Um, I do think that's a move that will happen, though. Paul Pogba to Real Madrid. He just looks like a player that will be in that Real Madrid shirt. And finally, Ander Herrera. I'm sorry to end it on sad news, guys. Ander Herrera has been in the news saying he wants to return to play in Spain. Moment of silence. Fortunately, it's for Raul Zaragoza, his old club, at the tail end of his season. So he's not saying he wants to go to Real Madrid or Barcelona. The man loves Manchester United and he may go back to Real Zaragoza at some point. Something that a lot of players do say, to be honest, that they want to go back to their first team at the end of their careers. I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer said it, and I don't think he played for them at the end of his career, but he did certainly go back and manage them. Anyway, guys, that's it for Transfer Daily. Thank you for all your name suggestions yesterday as well, by the way. Um, but yeah, get stuck in in the comments below. What do you think of Atamendi, Gaetan, Carlos Baca? Could he do it for Manchester United? Schweinsteiger, is he on his way in? Get your comments in below. Subscribe to Full Time Devils. I'm off to see where Steven Arsen is. Better wake up. Anyway, see you later.